our measurement unit where students had a lot of fun completing activities outside. After analyzing data that included ERB results, teacher anecdotal notes, VIS committee reports, and the recent science curriculum review, we felt that measurement was an area that we wanted to revisit. Through collaboration on campus, we designed and implemented a hands-on measurement unit in fifth grade science classes. I created lessons that used both nature and classroom materials in order to engage the students. I wanted the lessons to be fun and focused and thought the use of the Crocker property would be the perfect choice. First, we measured various objects found in nature, such as sticks, plants, a blade of grass, etc. Students used measurement tools to estimate and then carefully measure. They had a lot of fun measuring the length of boards on a bridge, the height of a bush, and the width of a leaf. They also had to express the results in centimeters and meters. By measuring common outdoor items, I hope students would be more interested in using the tools accurately. What could be a somewhat boring indoor lesson became fun and engaging by bringing the classroom outside. After collecting our data, students practiced how to convert their answers between the various metric prefixes. Next, we explored volume and the standard metric measurement unit of liters by estimating and filling numerous containers with water. We start with very small children's medicine droppers and syringes, which can easily hold one milliliter. The children were surprised to see how small the quantity of one milliliter really is. We poured water between various containers to estimate and discover the volume of one liter. Students also went on a liter hunt at home in search of examples of liters and milliliters in their kitchens, bathrooms, and recycle bins. They returned with labels, pictures, and samples of items such as shampoo, cleaning supplies, soda, cosmetics, and cooking liquids, which all included measurements in liters. Lastly, we shifted our focus to exploring mass and the unit of grams. Students participated in labs where they learned to use a balance and scale to weigh different classroom items, such as an eraser, markers, and dice. They discovered that a paperclip weighs about one gram. The kilogram seems to be more commonly known, and students commented that one gram is pretty small in mass. These activities provided students with continued experiences in collecting, measuring, and analyzing data. By including the outdoors and common household objects, the unit connects their learning to the world around them, making it more meaningful. Music